Here's an exercise for you. Think of the number of times you have used the word sorry or I'm sorry today. How many times can you recall? Let me guess. The chances are that you have lost count. While the word sorry is part of the magic trio, it has somehow lost its essence because people have even used it to replace other words like hello, excuse me, etc. For instance, instead of saying hello, may I have a seat please? Many people say sorry, please may I have a seat? In this video, I will share with you 15 things you should never apologize for. If you're new here, consider subscribing to this channel for more awesome videos. 1. For saying no. Respecting your limitations and being bold enough to acknowledge them is a sign of self-respect. You don't have to agree to something you're not comfortable with just because you want to please someone. If you cannot give 100% to something, you should never apologize for saying no. The ability to say no is a sign of a good leader. 2. For wanting to be alone. People vary in the amount of personal space they need to get through the day. It is crucial to our well-being that we request the room necessary to mentally breathe, even if it means turning down a friend for a workout or a date. Having a me-time is needed for your mental well-being, and you ought not to apologize for that. In the words of Donna Flagg, author of Surviving Dreaded Conversations, if you feel guilty for requesting some me-time, you're probably overthinking things. 3. For ending a toxic relationship or friendship, you should never say that you are sorry for letting go of someone who hurts you or always gives off bad vibes. Understanding that a toxic relationship holds you back from reaching your full potential is a huge step forward. Taking the bold measure to end such a relationship is another step ahead. Be proud and surround yourself with people who celebrate your outrage and don't apologize for making the decision. 4. For not knowing the answer. The constant quest for knowledge keeps our brains young. Never say you're sorry when you have no idea as regards a subject. Instead, see it as if you are presented with an opportunity to learn. Not many people today are bold enough to accept that they don't know something. Being able to admit you do not know is a sign of bravery and humility. 5. For someone else, one thing you should understand is that everyone is responsible for their actions and behavior. You do not need to apologize for something someone else did, even if you feel their actions reflect upon you through association. And the same goes for saying sorry to someone who bumps into you on the sidewalk. Instead of the usual I'm sorry, use the word excuse me. 6. For delaying your response. Successful people understand that prioritizing sometimes means a delay in responding to emails and phone calls. You do not need to respond to requests from colleagues or friends immediately, except it is of course an emergency. Take your time to think about things before giving your response and never apologize for not putting someone's email or text on the back burner while you take care of other things. The best you should do is send a confirmation message that you have sent their message, but don't say sorry for thinking things through before sending a reply. 7. For telling the truth. The old saying, the truth will set you free. This is not a theory, it is a reality. Even though the truth makes people hate you, never apologize for it. Healthy people will tell the truth. They know that even if the truth hurts, the benefits of honesty far outweighs the initial sting of the truth. 8. For your priorities. Never allow anyone make you feel guilty over your preferences. The reason why those things are on your priorities list in the first place is that you deem them necessary. Thus, you must always take care of your priorities first without apologies. If it's important to you, then it is essential. The people who matter will respect your choice. If they think your priorities aren't misplaced, they will approach you with respect. Still, you ought not to apologize. 9. For pursuing a dream. A life lived with regret is yours to miss. Although many individuals may try to dissuade you from making your dreams a reality, you ought to pursue them still and without apologies. Never apologize for following a dream because that dream makes you who you are. An anonymous quote goes thus, sometimes life is about risking everything for a dream no one can see but you. So pursue your dreams without apologies. 10. For asking a question. We invalidate ourselves when we apologize for asking a question. Sometimes we do so to protect our egos because we somehow believe that we ought to know it all and we fear that a peer or colleague will roll their eyes at our lack of knowledge. Donna Flagg, author of Surviving Dreaded Conversations, once advised, you should not apologize if you're requesting help or clarification. If someone judges you for asking, that could be a projection of his or her insecurities. 11. For a situation you cannot control. Imagine if someone complains to you about a nagging in law or a demanding boss, or being in a toxic relationship, our immediate reaction is usually, I'm sorry. 
Then we proceed to share advice. According to Deborah Tannen, professor of linguistics at Georgetown University, we start our sentences with sorry because we feel bad for the other person. But instead of confusing the situation with verbalizing a responsibility you don't have, it is more appropriate to gently say, that's too bad, or that must be hard for you. 12. For being disciplined. Discipline and self-management are directly associated, and people who are disciplined are great achievers. Part of staying disciplined means that you stick to your routine at all costs. Not many individuals are disciplined, because sincerely, in this world filled with distraction, it is quite difficult for someone to stay disciplined. If you can't do something because it breaks your discipline routine, there is no reason to apologize for that. Your life and the things you do at a particular time are solely your choices. In addition to not owing anyone an apology for being disciplined, you also don't owe them an explanation. This does not mean that you should be rude, but don't feel as though you are obligated to apologize or explain yourself to others for sticking to your routine. 13. For being yourself. Everyone is different, so you don't have to feel bad for what makes you unique. Always stay true to yourself. You should never feel like you have to be a different person than who you are. Even if you have specific characteristics that society considers a deviation from the norm, you should never have to apologize for this. None of this actions requires an apology because it is who you are. The only thing you should strive to do is to be a better version of yourself. 14. For failing. We all have lots of times when we have failed in life. One common form of failure is setting up a business. Research from the U.S. Small Business Association shows that roughly half of new businesses survive for five years, only about one-third of these businesses survive ten years. If your business fails, you don't need to apologize because it is not unique to you alone. Just recognize what went wrong and figure out how to correct it. 15. For your feelings. Telling people what you think and how you feel is a responsibility in any relationship. By letting someone know how you feel, you're helping that person understand you. Don't flag. The author of Surviving Dreaded Conversations noted that, however, being free to express your feelings does not condone gushing your heart out whenever the urge strikes. There is also a need for you to be sensitive enough to know when to address issues. But in all, you should never apologize for letting out your feelings. Many times, we get caught up in the moment and apologize for something without thinking twice about it. However, unless you have done something truly wrong, you don't owe anyone an apology. Over-apologizing can cause you to lose your self-respect.